YouTube Force Arena Commanders, welcome to a brand new character video. Today we are looking at Emperor Palpatine and the Imperial Royal Guards. Sounds like a pop band, an elderly pop band. So in this video you'll see two 1v1s and a really bad 2 versus 2 at the end of the video. Emperor Palpatine is probably the weakest character I've played so far in the game. Reason being his Although he's quite strong with his lightning attack, but he has to get really right in there because his range is so small at 6.5, which is below Blast of Fire on many, on many characters, but on par, I think, with Han Solo, who is 6.5 also. Um, and in, in this first video, you see me doing a slight rush, but really it's because the Luke here was quite poor. After this game, I had a game against another Luke who just rushed me, and I just got over, like, like everyone knows, you just get overwhelmed with troops. And the swarm like bees, and 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 you just you just finished because you just cannot drop down enough troops to cope with the swarm that's coming at you. So with Emperor Palpatine, his special passive is unlimited power, apparently. So when an enemy or ally is defeated, Palpatine's attack power increases by 15% for 18 seconds. Now I have to say I barely noticed it because. When the leader did die, in Session of 2v2, I didn't really see a dramatic increase in power. The units I was attacking against in the small groups were still there. They didn't die quicker, but it, it seemed to manage to hang on to life despite my, my desperate attempts. And speaking of life, you will die a lot as the Emperor. His mobility is dreadful. He cannot. He, he, if you get sucked into combat, you will find it extremely difficult to get away. He's like Darth Vader. He's very slow, so you, you, it's probably best used as a support character where you just mops up stuff at the back. But even then, with a sniper, it'll take about a week to get there. And as you can see there, half my health gone just in two shots before I could even get anywhere near the sniper in range to take me down. Now his skill ability um, is Force Lightning, and what that does is it does a Chain Lightning and it can attack up to five nearby enemies, dealing 350% attack power in five short bursts which is really good because it can mop up in rebel troopers relatively quickly however the cooldown is relatively long so you really have to pick your moments before you pull this ability off and as you see here under a bit of pressure pop my spell 32 second cooldown and in that time he's going to be spawning another seven troops at least so it makes it really abilities really poor. That cooldown needs needs some work, and I think the Emperor's health needs to be buffed slightly because he really is probably the weakest character in this game. Now, how would you use the Emperor? As I said earlier, probably as as a support if you've got a ranged character with you. If you're with melee, you're really going to be out of luck because it's going to be a real effort to try and hold off rebels because you still have to get involved in the combat and get right into ba into battle. I mean, this game here, as I said, I won relatively easily because. It wasn't a very good Luke Skywalker I was against. And it was one of my first games with the Emperor. I'm not ex that experienced using him. I've tried to shuffle my deck around. I've I had one deck where I put Imperial Guards in. And one deck where I haven't used them. Reason being is. The Imperial Guards. They deal with huge impact damage when you drop them into combat. They can really beat the hell out of someone. Like you've seen Han Solo here. Getting a, getting a life spanked out of him like that but they do not survive very long their health pool is quite low that might change at level two but at this level level one which is what they are at the moment um, they're particularly weak so I took them out and replaced them with other melee units which deal a lot more attack power early, early doors but they're good to have and I would recommend you use them um, at all times really and here as you can see the my thing about the Emperor is he does get locked on by absolutely everything so even if you do get involved into combat, you will get locked on by absolutely every unit and you will just drop like a stone. So you really have to pay attention to your health bar and how you pick your moments of escape and also importantly find routes to escape too. But as you'll see later in the video, I'm in an area where I'm trying to escape but for some unknown reason it doesn't want to move despite me clicking the ground to escape the combat. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, or if you've got any suggestions on how you play the Emperor, please comment below. Let us know how you play, what deck do you use. All help is welcome for the dark side. And if you agree, if you disagree with what I've said, again, comment below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. More the merrier. 
it's been a blast and thank you so much for your support in all the videos i hope you're all enjoying them there will be more videos coming more to do with strategies and let's play guides coming very soon and i will see you in the next video time to watch an emperor montage where he's doing some more one versus one and 2v2 see you on the next video and may the force be with you